So it finally happened, the day has finally come, Final Fantasy 16 has launched, or at least the demo of it as, and well, I gave it a run through, and you know what, I am a little bit just cautiously optimistic that this could actually be a good game. Now, given the fact that the Final Fantasy series is so legendary in the video game world, and is one of the not the game series, but one of the major game series that got me into the sort of Japanese RPG scene. It's been a little bit disappointing over the past few entries, over the past decade plus of this series, where it can't really be assured that any new game in this series is going to be a blockbuster, going to knock it out of the park, so to speak. So, when the demo came out, I tried it, and I'm like, you know what, this is actually pretty damn good. I put my pre-order in, and, well, I don't want to wait for the game to actually release. So, I want to go, and I want to start making videos for this right away. Now, I'm... <laughs> I'm not very good at uploading things. <laughs> I have episodes produced for other series that I have on this channel, which I have not been uploading because I am a lazy asshole. So, this game is going to launch in like three days. So, I'm probably, the game's probably going to be out by the time I release it. But, it very much seems like the demo for this game is actually just the first two hours of the actual game, so I can start recording now, and start producing the series now, and then just merge the demo into the full game as I'm playing through. So it shouldn't really be some sort of awkward transition. But anyway, here is Final Fantasy 16. Now, I do have to apologize for the audio of this, the first several episodes of this game. It's going to be pretty bad. And the problem is that I tried recording the audio for this as I was playing the game, using the PlayStation 5's um, own capture ability. So I have one of those uh, Sony headsets that's good for the PS5. As well as, like, the microphone and the controller. I've tried it both ways. I record the audio through there, but something always seems to go wrong. It sounds terrible. So the audio is going to be pretty bad. And this was video that I captured while attempting to provide a live commentary. So you're not going to be hearing a live commentary through the playthrough of this game. And the first few episodes, probably the first two or three episodes are going to have bad audio because I'm I had to mute it in spots so you don't hear my original commentary creative business unit 3 that does not sound like a uh, good name there normally I wouldn't be talking over dialogue or monologue like this but since the audio is muted um, I guess I'm going to do it <laughs> Now, the game starts off with this amazing-looking fight between, uh, I guess this is Phoenix and Ifrit, two reoccurring summon creatures in the Final Fantasy series. Now, all, all the Final Fantasy games are their own unique stories. They all exist in their own worlds, but they all tend to have um, either similar themes or imagery or reoccurring elements. Now, the summon creatures are those reoccurring elements. Ifri has probably been in most of the mainline Final Fantasy games. Phoenix, less or so. Now we're playing as Phoenix here, fighting against Ifri, or Ifrit, or however you want to pronounce this thing's name. And it's a real shame that I had to mute the audio here, because the music for this game is fucking amazing. Like, the Final Fantasy series has always been known for having good music, but they, I mean, they really pulled it off here. Unfortunately, I had to mute it. <laughs> it's going to play in a second, though. The music's going to play in a second, so I'm going to shut up as that gets going. I just want to make note that you will occasionally hear little bits of my original commentary. It's not going to sound right. Just ignore it. Phoenix, we've seen lesser of.
light soon. Those camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, God, I really Wyvern. am sorry for all that weird background noise. I didn't realize that moving around in my chair was going to produce so much noise with my freaking headset microphone. Eh, after a couple of hours of videos here, it's going to be more than two episodes. It's That's going to stop being a problem, but until then, I, I'm sorry, I just don't have time to re-record the footage. I wish I could do better. I should have done better, but it is what it is. So this game is like some of the other Final Fantasy games, where it throws you into the situation and sort of expects you to sort of pick up the plot and the setting and the rules of this world and all that as you go along. And I feel like it does a bit of a better job at this in, like, Final Fantasy XII or XIII, which notoriously bad with that, throwing proper nouns at you left and right, leaving you just fucking baffled as to what the hell's going on and struggling to have a context or anything like that. Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. My husband, who's the...
I wonder that you summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. It certainly seems like it takes some cues from Final Fantasy XII, where a lot of the sort of like the political intrigue and aspects of this world are important to the overall story. But in this early parts of the game, I can't really say, like, I couldn't even tell you who the good or bad people were in that room there. <laughs> Perhaps they were all bad. <laughs> I have a feeling we're working for bad people here. I mean, we have our main character, Wyvern, here who certainly seems like he's here to assassinate somebody. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. As always. Uh, take the van. Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Finally, grew tired of being slaughtered. Ha. And look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on.
don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! This is really interesting so what you? they've done here. In the uh, the summons have oftentimes had connections to the stories of these games. But like in say like Final Fantasy X, they were an enormous part of the whole journey to defeat Sin. In this, though, the summon creatures seem to have an even greater connection to the overall story than ever before because it seems like a lot of the people in it, these people that they call dominants, actually have the ability to transform themselves into these creatures. So we see Titan and we see Shiva up there, the earth and ice summon creatures. And given what we saw there and what we'll see in the next episode, it seems like like being one of these dominant people, especially like the name dominant is kind of a clue, that it is a sort of like way in that gaining sort of enormous uh, political power or whatever because you're so strong, you know? Die here. 